Hi guys. Hi girls. Hello mama. Hi. Hello. Don't be shy. Hello. There's some that are trying to leave my stomach. Um, there's nothing there, girls. Absolutely nothing there. I know. It seems like there should be lots of treats, right? But nope, there aren't. I just can't. I just can't catch a break. I can't catch a break with these dogs. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. 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 How's it going, Donald? How's it going? Hi, sweet baby boy. That's another boy. This is a girl. Hi, Duck Duck. It is so good to see you. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, hello, big mama. Hello, this is my other original mama. Who loves to do that to me. I mean, by all means, you do that, okay? You do that. I'm just here to serve your majesty. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Again, just come and sit casually with your dogs. And again, that drake over there is with the same symptoms as the other drake that died recently. So, my job is to keep an eye, close eye on him. Uh, he spent the night in the kennel out there. Well, not out there, but the kennel down here last night. I just put it out because otherwise they like to go in and poop in it. And well, it'd be easier to clean before tonight. But he seems to be doing just fine. Um, Kind of keeping an eye on the ones that are staying separate. So I'll keep you posted. Try to do a close up. But can you see that duck with his head in the water? That one over there. That one. Um, look at his feathers. They're really compact. You can't see anything wet. And um, yeah, so very waterproof. What I'm thinking is happening, and this I don't know, I am doing a test run for this, but what I think is happening, look at that one, can you see that gray one, this one, can you see the feathers, how they are kind of, well, picking on our, but they're kind of all over the place, well, there's a wet feather illness, and it happens when the, they don't get in the water. So I'm also trying to keep an eye out. That's the, the, the sick trick. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for him and see if um, you know he goes in the water and if he's able to, if he is able to, see, he's acting weird. Like he wants to get the water. He's been drinking water. I've seen him drinking water. But he's acting just not normal. I don't know if the feathers, the way that they are, mean that he is not waterproof. Because the bigger boys, let me see if I can find them before I move the camera. Yeah, that one over there. And the other one with the green head. Where is the other one? Oh, this one. Right here. Uh, they are keeping... The boys, the, the smaller drakes that were hatched this year, they're keeping them out of the water because they think that's their breeding pond, so they're watching it and they don't want smaller drakes to go in the naughty pond, as I call it, and breed with the girls. So, is it that that is affecting the drakes and only the baby drakes? It, it's possible. He is looking, well, see, he's drinking. And he's extremely hungry. So there's a few things that I'm gonna be trying to see if we can help him. And, you know, 
I'm just trying to see maybe this day and he's sleeping. Can you see how he closed his eyes? So I might put him inside the kennel if it starts raining because if it's, you know, that feather problem, then yeah, I don't want him wet because he's not waterproof. But I also, that's your child. Stop being mean, big mama. She's so petty. So we'll see. He's just staying by the water, drinking water. He ate a lot. I fed him separately. I want him to be able to, you know, eat as much as he wants. But he's not going in the water. So I don't know if it's because he's cold and not waterproof. And he knows that. And did you know when they're not waterproof, they actually can drown. So join me as I am trying to uncover this medical mystery with my ducks who I love very much but apparently they just want to get sick on me I've tried the deworming I did deworm him um, I did try to deworm the other one too well he, I did deworm the other one too I don't think it's worms if you read about worms in ducks you can tell how I mean, there are symptoms of them having worms, and he has no symptoms of that. He is hungry, he is thirsty, his poop doesn't look the way that it should with worms. But I still dewormed him. Um, the other thing I can do is give him antibiotics, just in case that there is some kind of infection. But it's really hard to guess what it could be. My guess right now is that, is that wet feather illness and <laughs> bless me i i was talking to um heather i was emailing heather last night and i was telling her it makes me feel terrible because on google it says that when they're in poor sanitary condition for the dogs and these dogs get so much clean water and they get mulch so they're not stepping on their own poop you know if it's not leaves as they are right now which is the best it's uh straw or hay you know it's just you know I, I think that the big problem is that there's only one pond so i order another one i have to go pick it up as soon as it gets to the feed store and hopefully that will give them different places where they can go and swim and they do really need it um there's a collab that I'm doing with Heather this Sunday and I talk about why dogs need clean water. Now you're probably looking at the water and thinking, oh, this is gross. Well, I just changed it, but <laughs> dogs go in the mud and then they go in the water. So they make it muddy very, very fast. So yeah, everything seems okay. He seems to be doing better, but I really don't want to say he's doing better until I actually see him, you know, back to normal. This thing staying by the naughty pond is not normal, well, although he's bickering, so that's a good sign. I'll show you later. Hey, medical mystery. Let's keep going. I just stayed here for a few minutes and I've noticed that he's sleeping. I'm gonna try to find an angle so you can see his eye. It's hard. His eye is closed. Um, but I've noticed that he's shaking his head. So that's a new symptom. Something I didn't notice yesterday. But see, he stopped now. So it's like, is he shaking his head or is he just not? Oh, it's so frustrating. I want to just sit down and ask him, what's up with you? What do you feel? What's wrong? And apparently I can't.